Hi, I'm Dale from Mohawk Games. This is the third in our mod tutorial series. In the last tutorial, you were shown how to create game info mods. This is where you update the XML files and add new content via the XML files or modify the base information already in the game. In this tutorial, you'll actually be shown how to create a DLL mod using Harmony Patcher. This allows you to insert new, your new code into the game and allow players to play new features, new content, whatever your mod contains. So firstly, I'm going to create a new mod. I will call this DLL mod. This creates our mod folder and gives us a mod info file. Now that I've done that, I'm coming out of old world. Don't need that for a while now. To start with, I'm going to open my mod info file and edit the description. This is a DLL mod to demonstrate how to create harmony mods for old world. The author of course is myself. And that's all the information I need to update in mod infos. Now, because we're creating a Harmony mod, I need to include the Harmony DLL. I just want to note that I am assuming that you already know how to use Harmony. If you don't, please refer to the Harmony tutorials and documentation. So I now have included Harmony into my mod folder. Now in the last tutorial when you were modding XML files you created an infos folder. This time however we're going to be creating a C Sharp DLL project which includes code. So I'm actually going to create a source folder. This will contain our project Now that I have my mod folder structure set up, I can now show you the reference folders. In your old world install files, you'll find the folder reference, source, base, because we want to see the base game source files, of course the game, and the game core. This contains all the source code for the game core. Now the mod that I'll be demonstrating is called a Settle Anywhere mod. This will allow the player to take their settlers to anywhere on the map and found a new city. They do not need to found a city on a city site. Now I've already done my research and I know that where I want to change code is in tile.cs. Now that I have my mod folder, I've checked the reference of where I need to go, I can now create my project. Now for our new project, we need a .NET project and it's a class library because we're creating a DLL file. I'm going to call this DLL mod for the project and you can see that I'm putting my project into my mod folder, into the source folder. The .NET framework is 4.7, currently 4.7. You may try to create a DLL mod using .NET 5, but it is not recommended. There are some features of .NET 5 which are not supported by the version of Unity that Old World is created on. So stick with .NET 4, preferably 4.5 or higher. I create my project. Then I remove all my existing code. 
first thing we need to do is add our references. So add reference, I click on browse, and in my mod folder, I grab my Harmony DLL. What I also need to do is then add a reference to the game core. And that is in 10crowns.gamecore. So I'm going to include that. Now what I'll do is I'll actually rename my class and I'm going to call it DLL mod class. So I now have my references and my class renamed. Now I'm going to start my coding. Firstly, we obviously need to use harmony lib. We also need to use 10 crowns app core. The app core is the base application that runs old world. We also need to include the game core, which is the code that defines the game as well as the usual system. I'll create my namespace. I'm going to create DLL mod as my namespace. So now we have our namespace. The first thing we need to do is to create our initial class. This will be a public class and I'm going to call this DLL mod class. Now, this DLL mod class will actually inherit from an old world class. This is required so that old world knows to load our class. And the actual class you want is mod entry point adapter. Now that we have our initial class and inheritance, we set up our harmony code, our injection and our shutdown. Firstly, I'm going to define a const string of my harmony ID. This is the unique identifier that defines our patch. Using unique identifiers for your Harmony ID allows multiple DLL mods to be used by the player at the same time. There are a couple of other restrictions such as Harmony can't patch the same method in two different mods, but this allows a lot of flexibility in what the player can do. So it was highly recommended that you use a Harmony ID such as I have. I do all my Harmony IDs with my name, what the mod is, and that it's a patch. And then I need to define my Harmony variable. Now we need to set up our insert and shutdown. So for old world, we have to override initialize. And then we override our shutdown. Now these methods come from mod entry point adapter. For our initialize, we want to initialize our harmony variable. And we want to initialize it with the harmony ID generated from the const string. Next, we call patch all. So that harmony inserts all our patch code. And for shutdown, we actually need to unpatch all. Don't forget to add your harmony ID because you don't want to inadvertently unpatch someone else's Harmony code. So now that we're at this point, 
we can now create our code. Now I've actually pre-prepared the code for this, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Here's our code. So what I have is I define a harmony patch. It comes from tile. And the actual method is tile.isValidFoundLocation. And it's got these inserted variables. Now you'll notice that I am actually using prefix patches as opposed to post patches because I want to override the base code before it runs. So here is the important piece of code that I wanted to insert. This if statement here. What this does is it turns off the urban check, urban tile check. So it means that you can then found on any tile, not just an urban tile. The second method I'm overriding is make city site used from the same tile file. This is important because once you've found a city, you need to define the city site as used so that the AI doesn't try to chase it down. And what I'm doing is because it's a blank city area, I'm using an existing generate urban city site method to give it a random number of urban tiles around the new city of between one and three. So now that we have our code, I am now going to define a build rule. Now the reason for doing this is that I am copying the DLL file from the build path back down to my mod folder and of course overwrite without prompts. So now I can build my DLL file. So it is, it is built. I can come out to my mod folder. And here is my DLL file. All ready to go. So now I run Old World. I come into mods, here's my DLL mod, I turn it on, play with mods, following mods are active, start my game, and now after the first settler we'll be able to we'll be able to move settlers to anywhere on the map and found a city. So I'm actually just going to quickly skip through. Wait for our new settler to come through. I just got married. Now we have a new settler. If I move out, you can see that it is starting to look like I'm going to be able to create a city out here. So let's move out to this tile here. You can see I can settle a city. And what an awesome site that was. It's just given me a massive border. And it's also given me an extra urban tile to connect to this city site. What I can also do is 
say it didn't have extra area around it. And I can create them anywhere I wish. So you can see this is what the generate urban tiles does. It adds extra urban tiles onto the city site that you found. So now we have our mod. So in this video, I showed you how to create a Harmony DLL mod. Using the Harmony DLL plus Visual Studio to create a .NET 4.5 plus DLL file, we were able to generate a new feature within Old World. I can't wait to see what sort of mods everyone comes up with. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your modding.